Greetings, welcome back. Riggs here, and brand new snapshot this week, adding leather horse armor to the game. Uh, something we've all been waiting for, <laughs> I guess? Sure, why not? A nice little addition, and it comes in the uncolored variety. I assume it's going to be like other horse armor found in dungeons. There's no crafting recipe for it. And then you can dye it, which is a nice little feature to personalize your own army of horses. And it's easily done just in a crafting bench. You can put the leather and any of the dyes, and you get dyed leather horse or yeah dyed leather horse armor so you can just switch that out and change the color of your horses and yeah it's a nice nice feature sort of personalizing things the only other thing that they added to the game this week was that um, villages are going to naturally spawn with an iron golem to give them a little early protection which i think is a nice feature um, but yeah i also wanted to talk about another idea about 114 and preparations for it so 114 is looking like it's just about complete with features and here I am in my 1.13 world that I started and the question is what are you going to do for 1.14 do you reset entirely do you start a brand new world because I love the early game I love getting started love killing the dragon for the first time and all that stuff um, and I also you know I enjoy the end game stuff which requires a lot of grinding and you know here I am feeling like I've just sort of started this 1.13 world, um, getting a lot of the sort of basic resources up and going, got my first beacon, got the elytra, got the trident, and all that stuff takes a lot of grinding. So when you are faced with a brand new update, what do you do? Um, and I guess the options are obviously a full reset to get that early game feeling <laughs> again, but then you have to do all the big grind. The other thing is you can just update and keep your old world, keep adding on to it, which I, you know, I never quite finish anything, obviously, <laughs> and that allows you to keep going on it. And the third option, which is something I've seen a few people do, is called the Ender Chest Reset. And the idea there is that you take an ender chest and maybe not fill it all with shulker boxes full of precious things, but you take your important things, you know, maybe your amending pick, trident, the things that really take a big grind, uh, the <laughs> probably my uh, beacon down there and the pyramid of blocks, which took forever to dig because I do not have an iron farm here. So there's a few things that you could put into an ender chest and, and have access to. The idea being that you break the ender chest and then maybe teleport yourself or maybe take the nether 10,000 blocks out and essentially start a brand new world in the same world. That way, someday you could come back here and keep working on things or work on things you hadn't finished up or make use of some of the the uh, farms that you've set up here that you don't want to maybe do again so anyway just an idea I'm really not sure what I'm going to do and I'm just curious if anybody out there has had experience doing well obviously you've probably don't, done one of the three but I'm kind of curious about the ender chest reset and see what that feels like uh, I don't know. Anyway, but um, a, a little tiny snapshot, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little <laughs> brief coverage of the snapshot, and then it's just some thoughts about heading into 1.14. What do you think? Kind of looking forward to it. I think they're pretty much done with features, so we're closing in. But uh, anyway, hope you've enjoyed. I'm super busy these days, and uh, probably won't be doing much in the way of videos for a little bit, but then I'm going to get back on it uh, for reals. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed, and stay tuned till next time. Love you guys. Bye-bye.